So we're talking about exiting left through impact. What is exiting left? It's something all the tour players do. People talk about low and left and the club exiting around the body. What is it? How do you do it? And the most important of all, how can you apply it to your game? So what is turning left through the ball? Okay, this is something we see lots of tour players do. Okay, and we've heard people say, oh, I've exited left, what turning left, the club goes left. What do all of these phrases mean and why is it so important for you to imply it? Okay, first of all, what it means is that when you're coming through impact, the handle goes left with your body rotation. So it, it moves around, which then means that the club head can work out towards the ball. And at the same time, then as you're rotating, the club will move around with you. Back in the day when you had people saying, oh, I hit it with my wrists and arms and I square it by rotating my wrists over, that club would have gone more away from the player in this direction. And that would see the body stop so the hands can rotate and flip the ball. But modern technology and modern coaching and using the body biomechanically correctly and all these other things are meaning that the club is exiting more left. So that's what exiting left is. It's basically the handle moves around and left through the impact area with the body. Now, why is it important, okay? This is the key, okay? If you're down on the ball a lot, you've got to swing left to hit the ball straight or as straight as possible, okay? So the more I hit down on the golf ball, so go this way, so the more we go down in this direction here, the attack angle being down, the more divot I take, okay? The more that that club face is open, so that sweet spot's aligned to the right. So what I have to do is swing to the left to square the club up, okay? So the more I hit down, the more left I go. So if you had a look at Ben Hogan many years ago, Sergio Garcia now, both hit down on the ball a lot, both exit very left. That's the reason they do it, okay? Because the more down, the more left, okay? If you've got someone who's a sweeper who takes no divot, they're gonna swing more out to the right. Because if they swing to the left, they're gonna hook it off the planet, okay? So it's understanding how you manage the amount you swing left with the attack angle to get you the straightest shot you can. So that is the reason you are swinging left, and that is all to do with, if you have a look at it on any modern launch one today, so this is swing direction, okay? But there's also a few key bits that we're gonna get into in a minute of how you need to apply swinging left to guarantee that you're gonna get maximum control of the golf ball. Now I've introduced you to the idea of swinging left, I'm gonna go into the sort of nuts and bolts and what it actually means to swing left, okay? So we talked about there that if you hit more down on the ball, you've got to swing more left to hit a straight shot. That is not my opinion, honestly. This is just a physics fact, okay? You've got to do it, okay? So what we're going to do, look at is how your body will work and get those arms matched in, therefore the club can work and follow your body. Because I look at the swing in a really distinct order. Your body controls how your arms move and your arms control how the club moves. So that's how I like to see this, the club being swung and that's how a lot of the best players in the world are doing it. You don't have to do it all with your arms. You might feel like you do it with your arms. That's completely different, okay? But it's your body is in charge, but the feels on top of that are really unique to all of you guys as individuals. But having a look at this now, what we're talking about here is as we get into this position here on the way down, so let's define this as left as when the shaft is back to parallel to the ground. Okay, so we can see that the <coughs> left arm's away from the body here, shoulders are pretty square. Now what I'm going to do is, as I begin to open, so the hip starts to fall back, the weight goes into the left heel, <coughs> the left shoulder opens, and the left arm moves into the body. So as the left arm is moving into the body, the, the shoulder is opening, and the shoulder blade is retracting, and what is happening is, the left arm is working into the body, so the upper left arm is going to be pulled into the side of the rib cage. And at the same time, the left arm will be rotating. So this is supination of the left arm. When you talk about Ben Hogan, this is talking this movement, okay? But this is happening via the opening of the body, okay? Shoulder opens up, left arm moves in. So therefore, you get both elbows connected to the side of the rib cage at this point. So what this does is, as it comes through, the club can then be square. What happens as well is the left knuckles are more at the ground and this is where you'll get this look that the left wrist is a bit bowed at impact and that's only because the body's opening and that left arm has been allowed to rotate back in. So what we see from down the line here, as I get that club back to parallel, that body opens up. So as it opens, the weight goes into the heel and we can see now how 
the arms, uh, the left arm's moved into the body, it's disappeared from your view, the hands are going left with the body movement and the hands then go around with me, the shoulders then open up and everything is exiting left. And this would be your lower left look and that's because the handle is staying lower. If your body stops moving, what happens is the handle raises upwards and then the club can go up to the right or even if it goes around, <coughs> The arms will extend away from the body just due to the fact that you've raised the handle upwards to try and square that club face. You've got to have the weight moving into your left heel to allow this to happen as well. If your weight is staying on your toes or towards your front of your feet, you can't open up. You've got to be rotating into the heel, which means the ankle is rolling over because it's from your ankle joints that you're going to get the rotation into your body. So this is how you are going to exit left. And this is how you're going to square that club up because basically the club is being delivered into here into this position and then the body is just unwinding around and as i've said before the left arm is pulled into the body to square that club up that is how it is all happening and it's via that rotational move of the body and that's how that club can exit left the more you exit left will just be dictated by how far down you're going to hit on it. That's individual to every single one of you. Okay, and the feelings that you can get on this can be different. But the actual movement itself, that's how the body rotates, that's how the arms move in, and that's how the club can work around and have no manipulation at impact. What we're going to have a look at now is a really simple little drill that will allow you to learn how to apply this movement to your swing. So this drill is going to come in two parts. First of all, I'm going to do a drill with that, with the club, just getting a feeling of the movement, and then I'm going to try and apply that with hitting the ball. So the first thing I'm going to do is hold the club halfway down here, so there's all this golf shaft extending. And what I'm going to do is get into this delivery position, and I'm going to try and feel how when that body is opening up, how I feel the handle going in to my left trouser pocket, left hip area, via that body opening up. So I get that feeling here, and for me, that feels like the right elbow staying on the body. Yours might not feel like that. Okay, well, that's, that's a feeling I want to have. So that's how the club is squaring up, but without me flipping at it, okay? What I'm then going to do is just try and do a really short shot. I'm going to do it as a, like, a little chip type drill. You can obviously extend this to be longer shots of whatever it is that's going to help you the maximum amount. But also what I want you to be able to do is don't be bothered about how far this is going. This is about learning and feeling impact. So it's going to have to be done in a drill because it's the fastest part of the swing. So it is inevitably one of the harder bits to change. So you need to do it in, a, in an environment that's going to allow you to get the maximum feedback you can possibly get. So for me, I'll just do this a little bit slower because that way I'm a lot more aware of what I'm doing. So I've got the ball set up here. I'm just going to make a little move to the side there. Feel it, okay. Then I'm just going to try and get that handle feeling like it's going as left as possible and get a little bit of rotation of the body. So this is going to be short swing, not too fast, getting a feeling. Okay, so the handle's gone more left there. I feel like I've rotated into that left heel. Everything's opened up, and that would be the way that I would want to learn it. So I just did like a little chip swing with a seven there. Start off with a wedge if you want. You know, it doesn't matter which club you start off with. It's about you making it so you can get the maximum feedback to allow you to improve the absolute most you possibly can. Hope you've really enjoyed this video, guys. If this is the sort of video you enjoyed and you'd like to see more of it, please comment below. What would you like to see covered in future videos? If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Thank you so much for watching. I'll speak to you again very soon.